G'day guys, um, so I'm making this video because I bought a light bar from uh, E-Lins and um, had a few issues with the wiring harness, so namely the wiring harness didn't at all connect to the high beams, meaning it was illegal to install. So the legality of a light bar um, is that it must connect to your high beam switch, so you turn your high beams off and your light bar turns off. Um, I believe that's linked into the Australian design rules where your light bar forms part of your main beam group and therefore must be switched as part of that group. So if we uh, flip the camera around here. All right, I've done a quick little circuit diagram here. Here we see the uh, wiring harness that was provided by E-Lins. So as you can see, we have our uh, battery here. Um, runs up to um, our relay. So our relay 30 is our power in pin. Um, and also runs up to a switch, which then goes to 85. 85 to 86, that's our uh, switch in the relay. Um, so that's then earthed. Out of 87, our power pin, we run up to the light bar, straight down, and back to pin 86, which is earthed. So this definitely works, um, but it's not legal because I've got to switch that switch off and on in order to turn that light bar um, off and on and if my high beams um, are on it means I've got to activate two switches to turn them off which is um, firstly illegal secondly uh, probably dangerous now if we go across to um, zoom out a little negative switched high beam so the Subaru Forester is negative switched high beam uh, you also get cars that are positively switched. That needs to be wired up a little bit differently. Um, a lot of it's quite similar though. Um, so there you go, negative switch high beam. So once again, we started our battery. Um, power runs up and into 30, our power pin. Now because it's negatively switched, my switch is over on the negative side. So I run a power straight round to pin 85. From pin 86, so remember 85 to 86 was our uh, switch. Um, we run straight across to a switch, which is located in behind the dashboard. Um, comes down to the negative out of my high beam and down to an earth through the high beam switch. Um, so that power for the high beam is coming somewhere from the lighting harness, doesn't really matter, um, straight up through the light, down through to our negative. Um, oh, something I should also mention, so off both of these switches, they had an LED to indicate that they're turned on, which is always a good thing. Um, so they've got a little earth running off, off them as well, just for that um, just for that LED. So 87, off my um, power pin there, my wire comes out into the light bar, and then boom straight to an earth. Um, so I had to basically make this wiring harness up myself. Uh, reused the relay provided by Elins, but that was about it. Um, actually, I used the fuse that was provided in their harness as well because, you know, saves me a couple bucks going out buying a fuse. Um, the fuse is located in both cases just off the battery there. Um, so now I'll show you how that looks on the car. So, here we go, there's our fuse. Runs down into the relay. Um, all this wrapped up in self amalgamating tape. Unfortunately, the um, proper plug to go into the relay had all of the incorrect wiring into it. It was easier to um, cut that all off and just crimp on a couple um, uh, female spades, which go straight onto the spades on the relay. Um, so out of here, um, that's our power, so that's going straight into pin uh, 30. This yellow cable is that little green one there. Runs around from pin 30 to pin 85. Um, and that provides a positive to our switch in the relay. Um, there you go, there's a quick view of how a 
how the relay circuit works. It's uh, drawn on top of the relay to um, help you out if you forget. Um, so coming out of there, we have our power cable, which is coming off pin 86. Correction, that's coming off pin 87. So that's the one that goes to our light bar. So if we trace that, um, I did actually reuse this bit from the E-Lens harness as well. Um, and that's just two cables together with a bit of um, uh, tubing over the top to keep them together. Um, it's all a bit messy at the moment, I'll have to need it up at some point. Runs down. We've got a lot of excess cable here, but that's alright. Um, and disappears down in, in front of the radiator. Um, and you can't really see, but this is through my grill. Um, there's a plug just on the side there, which then plugs into the light bar. So this was a uh, behind the grill light bar install. Keeps it all out of the way, saves me having to install a um, nudge bar or anything. Um, so that's how the power gets to the light bar. So the switching circuit. Um, so we've already got power coming into the switching circuit and now we need to earth that. So this blue cable runs down along the back of the engine bay. and disappears through a um, grommet down there. So I just had to punch a hole through that. That was nice and easy. Um, and then it makes it into the passenger compartment through the firewall. Um, I've just pulled this plug out so you can see. Um, blue cable here is coming in. That's from our relay. White cable is continuing on to earth this circuit. That second blue cable there is our earth for the LED light. So little LED on the front there. So that white cable I just showed you comes back out through the firewall there, runs up. I brought this one over the other side of the engine bay simply because this high beam was easier to get access to. Um, runs down, down along the side of the engine bay and disappears under the air intake. Um, so a little bit of an awkward angle, but if we look down there, that is a uh, wire tap, um, and that taps straight into the wire on the negative on the back of the high beam. So that there is uh, this connection here. Uh, so the reason I used that tap was pretty much just laziness. Um, this headlight's got a bit of moisture in it, so I'm going to have to pull it off at some point. And when I do that, I'll um, uh, put in a proper, more waterproof connection there. But basically, um, this circuit here is the bare minimum for what we should have to legally wire up a light bar. Um, so hopefully that helps out anyone that is wiring in a light bar. And hopefully this provides the information needed to uh, ELINs that they are able to sort their shit out basically and provide products that do what they are meant to do um, instead of spreading illegal and frankly dangerous products. Thank you very much.